Hi ladies and gentlemen, good morning or good evening to everyone. Today's topic is restart logic in COBOL DB2 program. In GCL, you must have heard the restart parameter equal to some step name. Okay. And but in COBOL DB2, there only exist restart logic. Okay, you means you need to build the restart logic and uh, in JCL, for example, you have one JC, one job and in JC, in job that job there is five steps, step two, step three, step five, step four and step five. For example, your job is ended at step three. So what will you do in job card? You will give the restart parameter parameter equal to step 3 so your job will start from the step 3 if you want to run the job from top you do not need to give the restart parameter in the job card okay and but in COBOL DB2 for example you have uh, one table one account table one account table and it has 10 10 millions records okay and you have one program means you have one test program and it has processed the 5 million records means it has updated updated the uh, five it has updated the 5 million records so after 5 million record it is abandoned okay so if you are going to process the 5 million again means you are going to reprocess from the beginning so it will take some time so we we should have we should have restart logic at some places so that our our process will start from the record where our records are not saved in the DB2 or where it is abandoned. Okay. Let's explain it. We have restart logic in COBOL program. Restarting a program when it has abandoned after processing some number of records become necessary many times as it would be waste of resources to process them again means like we have processed the 5 million records and it has abandoned after the 5 million record process if we are going to process first 5 million records again so it is a wastage of resources okay and there is like some rolling back the process record is also a headache if there is no logic to start the program from the next record onward in the COBOL DB2 program. There is one commit command in SQL. It is a transaction control language which is used to permanently save the changes done in the transaction in table or database. The database cannot regain its previous state after the execution of this command. We have second command rollback. In role in SQL, it is a transactional control language which is used to undo the transaction that have not been saved in database. The command is only be used to undo the changes since the last commit. Okay. For example, we have one DB2 table account. It has 10 lakh records and we are committing the data means records after each 1000 records so we have commit frequency is 1000 records okay like we have uh, first commit is at 1000 record second commit is at sec is 2000 record and third commit is at 3000 record fourth commit is at 4000 record Consider our job is abandoned at 4200 record. So 
what will we do like we have saved this data till 4000 record okay so we have to restart the restart the record from the 4001 to process it again okay uh, we have some point here like program should have a code to commit the record that are processed and updated into the database okay we should have the commit and pro program should perform a commit after it process the certain records so there should be a commit frequency defined to tell when to perform this commit operations and commit is, is, is to save the record permanently into the db2 after issuing the command commit command in the program so in the program for every defined number of record update logic should be there to issue a commit command like we are committing committing after reading or after updating the 1000 record means if your counter is become 1000 like 2000 3000 and so on so you are committing the process record so that it will save into your ta count table uh, depending upon the number of record that need to be processed an optimum commit frequency needs to be defined means it should be optimum commit frequency optimum means it so that it take less time okay like we are defining here 1000 commit frequency so all the records which are committed do not get rolled back when any event occurs we there is restart logic and it is a first approach like we we are creating one temporary table named checkpoint restart and inserting below information in this table like we have program name uh, job name column and date of execution column and last record key at the time of commit like we have program name execution date and record key and we have program name is test pgm and we have executed like uh, this job at this time or this program at this time and it has saved the last commit record is 1000 so this insertion should happen just before the issue of every commit no we need to write program in such a way that first paragraph of the procedure should uh, first read record of the table checkpoint restart means our first paragraph should read this table for this particular job name and date of execution we have some condition here like if there is no row in restart table for job one or date one so its means program is running first time so it should run normally if there is row in restart table and last record key is zero or null for job one and day, date one it means record has to be processed from the beginning means our means our job is ended at the first record so what we do so it should start it, it will store the zero or null so it will start from the beginning if there is row in restart table and record key is greater than zero for job one and date one so skip the record till key found in file that are already processed okay so we need to skip the records which are already processed and committed like we have uh, committed the 1000 records and then started the processing record from key plus one record means from the 1000 first record in the previous case so after commit after processing or committing of all record delete the entry in the restart table and issue one final commit so that for next day it will uh, restart it will start from the fresh execution like we have one example here there are 10,000 record to be updated in a table and the commit frequency is 500 
if the program abandoned after processing 1000 record from which record onward the process get started like as the commit frequency is 500 the 1000 record key get stored in the restart table so from 1001 record the process get start and the first 1000 record gets just read without any process and second is if it a band after processing uh, 9999 records till which record the table gets updated and from where it need to be restarted as the commit frequency is 500 so 500 record key gets stored in the restart table and these 500 record get committed in all the tables but remaining 499 record won't be committed as it has not reached the commit frequency so these 499 the code gets rolled back so the perform need to start from the 501 record onward we have another approach you can create the vsam file in place of db2 and can store the last updated key value in it whenever you issue a commit for the db2 now say your program has appended at uh, 1020 record now in vsam file you will have the key of 1000 record so all the initial 1000 records are committed into the db2 so when you correct the issue and restart the logic first thing you need to do in the program is to read the vsam key uh, vsam file and get the key from it if the key is 0, it means we are running the job for the first time. If key is greater than 0, then the just read the input file without doing any other processing in the program as we have already updated the data in DB2 till the key is reached and start processing the record from the next record of the key. Okay. In our example, vsam file will have 1000 record so till 1000 record you will browse through the input file and from 1000 record you will start the processing means till 1000 record you will only browse means you will not perform any activity on this means you will just read the 1000 record and from 1001 you will start processing okay thank you guys that's all from my side Please like the video and subscribe.